What's up guys, John Killing here back with another video. This time, kind of a different video, is about the tools I use for doing my illustrations on a traditional way. So I did um, Instagram, like I asked some questions about what do you want me to talk about in a Q&A video on YouTube and one of the most requested questions was about my tools so I decided to do a full video about my tools the tools I use to draw so let's check them out as you might realize I carry the tools all the time with me in my bag so I can work on my sketchbook and first we have the liners, the liners I use all the time and this one, the Micron, is the one I've been using for the longest time. I use mostly a 0.1 liner for almost all my line work in sketchbooks. Also I have these Copic Multiliners was because I was trying to be in more eco-friendly and working with some rechargeable liners so it's great quality also both of them have um, permanent ink like water resistant ink so I can watercolor over them it's really nice also I have this Copic gas fund it's been my main brush pen for the past months it's really nice like a kind of an Asian look when you're inking it's really good I have to to practice more with it because sometimes it could get really hard to work with this one were my previous brush pens the Pigma you have three types the three types I use and are really easy to use the only downside is that they don't have that much of ink so they run out of ink really fast that was why I was trying to get to uh, some rechargeable alternatives and the Copic Gas Funde is not rechargeable but you can hack it so you can recharge and this black liner brush I haven't used it that much but it's a brush pen too with a lot of ink feels great in the hand so I carry it with me from some maybe one month my all-star companion the Moloto rechargeable uh, brush pen I use it for almost all my black backgrounds in my illustrations and comic really good I use water-based ink with this one and also with this one is the same but it came empty so I fill it up with tons of water and some drops of black ink so I can get a great tone the last two I just shown you the Molotovs are water-based ink so I use them as a um, like watercolor like dense watercolor these are all these are my jelly rolls I use them for adding some shining or light or some details on the illustrations are really good I once tried the Posca ones and I think the one that I tried was dry so it didn't work at all so I was really upset of spending the money on one of those and never bought them again <laughs> and then I have more liners these one are all Molotto black liners with different with different tip size and yeah I use them to I've been just introduced to these liners like some months ago and are really good the inks sticks in the paper really good when you erase over them it 
didn't disappear as much as the as the pigma the micron sorry so yeah are really good i think the ink they have less ink than the micron i think have to use them more then i have my mechanical pencil classic super cheap rotring nothing fancy i just wanted a black mechanical pencil and that's what i got sorry about that i'm drawing out of frame here and uh, yeah i think it's the 0.5 hb uh, and my eraser this is like a mechanical pencil but for an eraser is clean and is good to the good thing is that it keeps clean and you can keep it with your pencils yeah it's nice then we have my compact ruler and this stuff that is used for sticking the screen tones I don't use them that much this one is a signing pen I use sometimes for signing some illustrations it's really nice I got it from a friend and some brushes I use them when I paint with watercolors sometimes not that often but I keep one of those this one it's hard to open sorry with some water inside so I can wash the ink the water base ink don't do this that often maybe you've never seen me doing this in my videos but it's fun for experimenting and now the all my signing pencils I use all of this sharpie on conventions most of the time the one I use is this one and that one this one has like a silver color I don't know why in the paper it looks like gold but it's silver and this one is as you can see has a thinner tip so I use for drawing on comic pages when I sell them on conventions and signing yeah it's really nice I haven't find another one of these sharpies with a tiny tip so I I have to look more and finally this pocket where I keep some surprises <laughs> now I keep my white ink it's really thick ink so it's really nice and my secret weapon my daughter's toothbrush so it's to do those backgrounds you see me doing also I have more stuff like replacements for the tips and some erasers and hey black ink this one is really good too I use them to add some texture sometimes and a rep replacement for the eraser for this one I bought this one in Argentina like maybe one year ago, one year and a half and yeah it's the last replacement I have um, so sad because I haven't got time to do my research and find a similar kind of eraser here so guys hope you like this video it was fun going through all my tools as you might know I almost draw on a sketchbook so I'm traveling or going on a bus or on a car or on a train I don't know so it's good and handy to have all your tools close to you whenever you want yeah hope you like the video give it a thumbs up subscribe do all that YouTube stuff let me know what you think in the comment 
and follow me on my Instagram account and you can visit my online shop sometime soon. Cheers, have a good weekend.